the most important part of poverty immersion is that students get to experience what life is like for others that are less fortunate, uh, that suffer a variety of disadvantages. This is the first time I've slept outside. Sleeping outside has opened my eyes and I've realised how grateful I am to have a bed that I can go and sleep in every night and the things that I take for granted. I was really cold. This experience has taught me that there are people out there who are less fortunate than us. Participants are Year 11 students and they're selected from a quite a large cohort who apply. Okay. Alright girls, we're going to head up to Woolworths now, just up on Murray Street. This is the first time we've had the opportunity to go buy products for the homeless people, so hopefully they'll go to some good use. Um, we're buying some sanitary items, some tea, some coffee, some biscuits and some socks. The fact that they don't have basic necessities is quite upsetting and confronting. We have a really sheltered understanding of homeless people and I feel like with this immersion I get to see, I get to actually experience on some level what these homeless people go through. In terms of achievement, what we really want is ultimately more socially aware young people. Like I think this experience is something that's going to save me throughout my entire life. When I walk through the city now, I'm definitely going to look different at the people who are on the side of the road. And that they will be active in their later life. Uh, and we'll seek to encourage other people to recognise that there's a story behind each individual. I know that they're not there because they want to be there, it's because they've had to give something up. And hopefully they will stay with me and like, help me grow and mature into a person that's able to help others in the community.